What on earth happened to them? Watch to find out. Kenji traveled across Japan, offering aid to villages besieged by bandits, thugs, and mysterious forces. One moonlit night, he arrived at a secluded village nestled in a valley, shrouded in an eerie silence. As he stepped into the village, a sudden rush of wind swept past him, and a shadowy figure lunged from the darkness. Kenji's reflexes saved him. He barely managed to fend off the attack with desperate strokes of his katana. His attacker, a pale, crimson-eyed vampire, hissed before retreating into the shadows, leaving Kenji wounded. Breathing heavily and clutching his injured side, Kenji staggered down the deserted streets. The sight that greeted him sent chills down his spine. Bodies, drained of life, lay scattered like fallen leaves. Their hollow eyes stared blankly into the void, their skin ashen and shriveled. It was clear that something sinister plagued this village, something far worse than any bandits or thugs he had encountered before. Determined to survive and help these people, Kenji pushed on, his vision blurring with pain. He needed to find shelter and treatment before his strength waned completely. The village's fear was palpable, and he felt a heavy responsibility to uncover the truth and end the terror that gripped them. His resolve hardened with each step, knowing that his journey had brought him to this cursed place for a reason. I cannot believe how that ended. It would mean a lot to us if you liked and shared the video. Click on the profile to see it and more of our engaging stories. And if you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed or followed. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on part two.